Now, the president's cognitive decline is not a laughing matter because he is still leader of the free world. Mm -hmm. And have a look at this embarrassing blunder during the uh, quad address just yesterday. I want to thank you all for being here. And now, uh, who am I introducing next? Who's next? Distinguished guests, the Prime Minister of the Republic of India. Oh, dear God, who's next? I mean, the meeting only had three other leaders there. Our Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, was there and you saw the two other leaders up on stage with Joe Biden and he still couldn't remember what was happening, what was who was coming next, what their names were. It's sad, Alex. There's no other way to describe it. This is not how any country should be run. You're exactly right. And everybody knows that Joe Biden's not in charge. You can just tell by the effort that he's putting in. And sadly, that's probably the most assertive I've seen Joe Biden in his four years as president. And he's just quietly quit, whether he wants to admit it or not. He has quit on his presidency and he's quit on the American people. And I'm really worried because there could be some funny stuff that happens in this next election where we need a coherent president. And, uh, I think they're going to make him step down and let Kamala Harris be the president while she is you know, still campaigning. So it's going to be crazy here in America. There's going to be a big October surprise, and I think it'll be Joe Biden stepping down very soon. That would be fascinating, and it would be a fairly uh, underhanded tactic, but certainly one that I think will be impactful if uh, they have Kamala running essentially as the incumbent and have, give her the prestige of the presidency and again, she'll get another wave of uh, mm -hmm. fantastic PR if she is uh, installed as president, even if it's for a few weeks. So it'll be uh, interesting to see if they try to pull that off.